we can't choose who our parents are, but we can choose whose child will be. This is a quote from Seneca. Um, this quote basically means we can't choose who our biological parents are. That's evident. But we can choose the influences that mold and shape us to a large extent. Welcome to another episode of Self-Employed Success Secrets Monday edition. On today's episode, we're going to talk about the influences that mold and shape your business. And the truth is you're the primary influence that molds and shape your business. Okay. On today's episode, we're going to talk about treating your business as your child. Think about it. You've been around a young baby, a newborn, and guess what? They're full of potential. And usually they start out by naming the baby with a great name, a name that's well known by so many people. Um, and then I think that is where the biggest mistake that parents make after that. And this is what I think is the biggest mistake. It's not what you think. I think parents overestimate the initial importance of the baby's arrival. They think, oh my gosh, this kid is going to be great because he has a great name, because I'm so great. This self-delusion and ends up messing up uh the kids and the company okay you ever heard the term like a parent company all right i want you to really listen up to that because it really does affect what you're doing not only do you have to get past that delusion but okay i need to see my kid in the right terms if it's going to be successful i gotta put a lot into it for it to be great every every parent every mom and dad wants their kid to be great but how many actually end up becoming anything of significance not many so um Let's try to make your business something that actually significant. I think it's start by it starts by not thinking your business is significant. Thinking my business is really not that different. I got to make a lot of changes and improvements to get better. So not only you have to do that, you got to love your kid. What I mean by that, you got to you got to do love is doing what's best for it. Okay, what do I mean? For example, a lot of us want to just for example, let's say you have a company, right? And you you know your company needs to hire somebody, but instead you want to keep the money for yourself because you're being greedy. Okay. You're going versus I want we I want the kid to be this, or I want the company to be this way, or the company needs this, or the kid needs this, and just basically how you operate, okay? And on top of that, you gotta have so many things for your business to be successful. Like for example, you gotta be able to sell, okay? Here's a tip. Until you're ready to buy, you're not ready to sell. Basically, that means until you're ready to buy the product you would that you're selling. So another quote said, don't buy any, don't sell anything you wouldn't buy yourself. Okay, I think mean, that's a very good, very good uh, quote to live by if you're in a business, okay, because you gotta sell all the time. If Would you buy the service that you're offering at the price you're offering it at? Just think, just think to that to yourself. Think that to yourself on this Monday, all right? Because if you treat your business as a child, you're gonna see that, okay, there's a lot of improvements that are gotta be made. Like, the payoff isn't gonna be for years. People don't become parents for the money. They become parents that have a positive impact on the world. That's the same way you got to think about when you're having your business. Right? This is very different than the mainstream way of thinking. A lot of people just have businesses because they're just like, oh, I just want to make money. It's very selfish. And think about it. You got to be focused on helping people. Focusing on what the people who are buying from you want, how they see life. Instead of being like, oh, I see life this way. I want everybody to adjust to what I'm doing. You got to have a vision for your kid. What do you want to teach your kid? Principles and values. Think about this mission statement. You want your kid to have a mission. Your kid has a purpose. Your company has a purpose. So I really want you to think about these things because you can make your company what you want it to be, but you're the one who's going to be pouring into it. All right. You're the one who's going to really determine to a large extent the impact of that kid's life. For example, my mom had the biggest impact on me of anybody in the world, any particular person. It's my mother. And think about it, you're the mother and the father of your business. If you're a partnership, you kind of already are. Someone's taking the motherly role, someone's taking the fatherly role in a um, metaphorical sense. Someone's leading, someone's nurturing. These are all the things you've got to do for having a, a business, all right? Have, treat, treat your business as your child. The main point of this video is your business is your child, okay? You got to go about it the same way if you're going to be successful. You look at any successful company, they, they kind of operate in that manner. They look at it in a long-term perspective. Hey, we're not going to see a payoff for 15, 16, 17 years, and we're okay with that because we didn't do it for the money. We did it to help people. There's a lot of people I know who quit after a little bit of time because it was too hard. Same with a lot of parents walk out on their families when it's too hard. It's happened to my family. It just gets too hard, you just quit. All right, but that's not that's not loving. You gotta love your business, all right? And like it says in the Bible, love does no harm. Okay, you can't harm your business. Don't harm your business. Let me ask you that. Do you really love your business if you're self-employed, self-employed lawyer? You own a lawn specialist company, an optical eyewear company, whatever the case may be. Do you really love it? Do you give it what it needs? Do you nurture it? Do you take care of it? Is that a purpose? Do you reprimand it when it makes mistakes? Do you 
do you keep going? Are you patient with them or no patience, no money? Okay, that's a big one. All right, your business can be successful if you treat it like it's your child, okay? Love it, nurture it, take care of it, sacrifice for it. You're going to put a lot of time into it. It's going to hurt, okay? You have to give things up. You can't just dabble in it, all right? Because it's up to you to a large extent where your child goes and what it becomes, all right? So take that responsibility and know that you can win. And know that you got to discipline your child. I saw a quote that said, You're, you will go as far in life as your discipline will take you, okay? Think about that today on this Monday, all right? Remember, treat your business as a child and you'll see it get better and go up and grow. Remember, your business has to grow. It also, quick encouragement, if your business isn't as growing as fast as you'd like to be, just know at any given time it's either growing or it's dying, even if the small is growth. Someone paid you 50 bucks for something, that's growth, okay? So don't, don't despair, keep winning. And uh, remember, treat your business as if it's your child, all right? It'll help you change your perspective and look at it and, and make sure your business turns out successful and it's not a failure like so many businesses, okay? So many businesses start out with great expectations and, ant and anticipation and then they just flop, okay? I would say it's 98%, 99% of businesses go from, all right, this business is gonna be great to mediocre to non-existent to the business is closing, okay? You don't want that. All right, I'm gonna give you some tips and tools to be able to think, okay, what can we do to win, all right? Make videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday on my channel. Lastly, as always, unsuccessful people that make decisions based on their current situations. Successful people, you, make decisions based on where you want to be. Okay, remember, treat your business as a child. It'll help you see your perspective. When we change the way we view things, we change the way we do things. Okay, bye.